welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm -hmm. And today we are looking at Part C of our monthly focus, and it's still called the Perfect Present. And the vocabulary words are purse, purse. Does Mom have any tissues in her purse? Handkerchief, handkerchief. That handkerchief has beautiful patterns on it. Marvelous, marvelous. The weather is marvelous today. Fine, fine. This restaurant only uses the finest meat in its hot pots. Mm-hmm. Karen, why don't people carry handkerchiefs anymore? Well, I never carried a handkerchief. Actually, when I was in elementary school, I did. Yeah, you had to you carry. Had to, you had to. Yeah. yeah, when we were in school, you had to carry a handkerchief. My grandfather always carried a handkerchief. Well, I guess it's more environmentally friendly, right? We're、it、not、is. using no, tissue no, all that, the time. No, no, that's the point. My, my grandfather, before they started really worrying about the environment,、mm. they were using men and women carry handkerchiefs around, right? That's right. And it also seemed like a very Uh, you, you seem more like a gentleman, you know, when you're like, you oh, you're you all right here. Here's your handkerchief. Here's a handkerchief. Oh, when I start crying, yeah, we'll wipe your、uh, tears away. And that's kind of romantic. You know, I tried for a while. Really, and then? And then I just stopped doing it, like <laughs> most things that I should do. So you know, I'm going to start carrying a handkerchief every day.、Again. Maybe I should too. So then it's better for the environment, protect our earth. And I could put my initials on it. <gasps> okay. And then, That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty makes、cool. me seem like a general, like I'm James Bond or something. I think you're going a little too far with that, but yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool to carry a handkerchief. Yeah, thanks. So we for, should all do that. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Just kidding. The question for today is: What does Joyce think looks marvelous? What does Joyce think looks marvelous? See, because James Bond would carry a handkerchief,、mm -hmm. right? Wouldn't he? He would. Benny and Joyce are in an area that sells purses and other luxury goods. Should we go to the sporting goods next? I don't know much about sports. Then let's keep looking here. These handkerchiefs look marvelous. Yes, I love fine handkerchiefs like these. Then I'll take this one. That will be fifty dollars. Okay. Here's my credit card. Wait here, Benny. I want to do something at the customer service desk. Happy birthday! Did I pick out my own birthday present? Joyce, you're so sweet. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Mary. And welcome to part C of the monthly focus unit. The two characters in our dialogue, Joyce and Benny, have been struggling to find the perfect gift for a friend of Joyce's, a friend who is a man. And Benny has come along to help Joyce, thinking that maybe having a man's opinion of what gift ideas are good or bad will help with the shopping. But so far, it hasn't. They've seen a bunch of nice things, but for various different reasons, none of them have been perfect. Well, let's hope that they have a bit more luck today, because time is running out. At the end of yesterday's episode, they were heading to the luxury goods section of the store to see if they could find anything there. For today's dialogue, our setup sentence tells us: Benny and Joyce are in an area that sells purses and other luxury goods.、Mm -hmm. Well, sure, you can't talk about modern luxury goods without talking about purses, and this is also our first new vocab word for today: purse. Purse. This is a noun. A purse, also sometimes called a handbag, is what people carry to hold some of their most important things. Useful for carrying things like wallets, keys, cell phones, and makeup, purses can come in all different shapes, styles, and colors. For example, Marilyn always keeps some lipstick and tissue papers in her purse. Marilyn 总是会在她的包包里啊放一些唇膏和面纸 Purse, purse. 
包包、钱包，这是一个名词。这里的 purse 指的不是同学们上学背的那种大包包哦，而是比较小、比较精致一点的手拿包啊、手提包或者是钱包。例如 ，You can't possibly put the laptop in your purse. It's too small. You can't possibly put the laptop in your purse. It's too small. 你不可能把那台笔记型电脑放进你的手提包的，它太小了。再来看一个例句 ：Do you have any ten dollar coins in your purse? Do you have any ten dollar coins in your purse? 你的包包里有十块钱硬币吗？那在对话里啊 ，Joyce 和 Benny 正逛到贩卖包包和精品的地方。So now we can begin the dialogue. It seems that a look through the luxury goods section hasn't given them any more great ideas. Since Joyce begins by asking Benny, "Should we go to the sporting goods next?" Sporting goods would be for exercise and other sports equipment. They might find something good there. Hmm, they might, but Benny doesn't sound too keen. Joyce brought him along for help in choosing the right gift, and for sporting goods at least, it doesn't seem as if Benny is too interested. He says, "I don't know much about sports." Okay, fair enough. And that seems fine with Joyce too, because she then says, "Then let's keep looking here." Wow, they really need some help, don't they? Yeah, it's looking more and more likely that they might just go home from this shopping trip empty-handed, and that's no good if you are gift shopping for someone. Let's see if our question of the day leads us to some better ideas. The question is, what does Joyce think looks marvelous? She says these handkerchiefs look marvelous. She says these handkerchiefs look marvelous. Well, handkerchiefs are interesting and slightly unusual these days, but they are a classic gift for a well-dressed man. They did say that they were shopping for a businessman, didn't they? That's right, they did. Good memory. In that case, yes, this might be a great gift. Let's learn more about all of this by checking out the two new words that Joyce mentioned just now. The first one is handkerchief. 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 It's a noun. A handkerchief is a small piece of cloth, usually square in shape, that is carried by people to use for wiping their nose. Men might carry it in their pockets, and women might have one in their purse. These days, though, it's not very common for people to have a handkerchief because it's easy for us to get tissue paper. For example, Glenn folded his handkerchief and put it back in his pocket. Glenn 把手帕折好，放进后方的口袋。Handkerchief, handkerchief， 手帕，这是一个名词哦。Handkerchief 其实是由两个字合在一起的，分别是 hand 手，还有 kerchief 方巾，所以合在一起啊，就是指手帕了。不知道大家的爸爸妈妈是怎么样的，但是我呀，我的爸爸 ，My father always has a handkerchief in his pocket. My father always has a handkerchief in his pocket. 我的父亲总口袋里啊，总是会有手帕哦。他们是说这样子很方便啊，而且拿出来的时候啊、哦，也很有气质。大家可以试试看哦。再来看一个例句 ：Wade handed me his handkerchief when he saw me cry. Wade handed me his handkerchief when he saw me cry. Wade 看到我在哭的时候啊，把他的手帕递给我。嗯，这样子就感觉很值得戴手帕了吧 ？And we had another to look at, didn't we? That's right, we did. That word, our third for today, is marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous. This is an adjective. If something is marvelous, that's the same as saying that it is wonderful, fantastic, or great. It's really good. For example, we had a marvelous time on our trip to New Zealand. 在纽西兰的旅途中，我们度过了极好的时光。Marvelous, marvelous, 令人赞叹的，不可思议的。这是一个形容词哦。当你想赞叹某件事物多美好、多棒的时候，你就可以用这个字。它跟 wonderful, fantastic 和 great 其实都是很像的。例如 ，The weather today is marvelous. The weather today is marvelous. 今天的天气真好。另外 ，marvelous 还有一种很惊奇、超凡、不可思议的感觉。例如。Jenny has marvelous talent in mathematics. Jenny has marvelous talent in mathematics. 
。Jenny 在数学方面啊有超凡的天分，代表她的天赋应该是非常令人惊艳。而刚刚在对话中 ，Joyce 则是在赞叹那些手帕有多么漂亮。So now that Joyce has suggested buying a handkerchief, let's see what Benny. Her shopping advisor thinks of the idea.、Mm, and as we reach our break, I think it's getting the green light from Benny, the fashion guru. He tells her, "Yes, I love fine handkerchiefs like these. Fantastic! Benny approves. Hallelujah!" Well, why we all breathe a sigh of relief that their shopping trip and our unit might be coming to a successful close. Let's take a quick look at our final new vocabulary word. Fine, fine. This is an adjective, and this is a word that can have lots of different meanings. So do be careful when you read it or try to use it. In this case, in our dialogue, fine is the same as very good or top quality. Fine silk would be very smooth and probably quite expensive, and fine food would be made by famous chefs at the best restaurants. For example. Guests at the movie star's wedding dinner enjoyed fine wines and delicious food. 在那位电影明星的婚礼晚宴上，宾客们享用上好的美酒与佳肴。Fine, fine， 精致的、优质的，这是一个形容词。Fine 这个字啊，有很多意思，所以同学们在使用的时候要注意喽。这里的 fine 指的不是那个 I'm fine, thank you, and you 的 fine。的好的意思哦，不是不是，而是极好的、精致优质的意思。例如 ，The billionaire only dines in fine restaurants. The billionaire only dines in fine restaurants. 那位亿万富翁只去高级餐厅用餐。Fine 不只可以形容事物，也可以用来形容人哦。例如 ，Picasso was a fine painter. Everybody wants his work. Picasso was a fine painter. Everybody wants his work. Picasso is a very talented artist. Everyone wants his work. And in the conversation, Benny is saying that the handkerchiefs are very fine and very good. Wow! I finally found something that Joyce and Benny like. Let's take a break. Let's come back and talk about this gift giving trip. Is it possible to complete a perfect gift giving trip? Okay, now it's break time. Please come back to finish up the dialogue part. Let's take a break. Okay, now it's break time. Please come back to finish up the dialogue part. 欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是季安。哎，悠悠，喂，<笑>真奇怪，我下定的网拍怎么还没有到啦、啊？下定网拍啊，国外的网站嘛，你如果从国外的网站订购，那通常会比较久一点啦、啊。我已经等了一阵子，一阵子，一阵子，等了三十六个小时了。好吧，三十六小时。那么看一天半年呢啊，那我们就来联络一下客服哈、哦，客服就是 customer service。customer service、嗯。那我们今天来跟大家讲一下这个网购客服相关的用语。但是要怎么问说？说我还没有收到我的订单哎。从你下单到现在是不是一段时间了？嗯、超级了。哦，这个是一、嗯、废话废话了。订、嗯、<笑>单哦，然后是下定，然后到现在已经一段时间了。我讲这句废话的原因是这样用，现在完成式。哦、oh, oh, ，OK， 所以你要用 I haven't received my order. I haven't received my order. 对，那后面也可以加个 yet. I haven't received my order yet. 嗯哼。那你还可以补一句啊， uh, 你就说 When will I receive the order? 哦、oh, ，我知道。下面喜尊可以收到我的东西啊？对、嗯，什么时候可以收得到？对不对 ？When will I receive the order？ 嗯哼，嗯，可是要客服要说啊，稍等一下、哦，让我为你查询这英文怎么说？对，这个这个话，如果你是客服的话，有些人是线上客服，对，哦、就是文字客服或者是电话客服，嗯、其实都一样。你就说啊，让我为你查询，就说请稍后、嗯、，Please hold on a second。Please hold on a second. Let me check the order status for you. Let me check the order status for you.、Uh, order status、嗯、就是订单的状态哈，的状态状况，或者是你把它反过来变成 the status of the order. Oh, the status of the order. Okay. 可是有时候他跟你要那个订单编号啊。订单编号是吧？好，那下单之后会有一个一组号码，没错，很长的字跑出来，那个叫做 tracking number. Tracking number. 哦，就是追踪的这个号码。嗯，好 ，track, T R A C K, 
Tracking a track. 你当动词的话是追踪的意思啊。没错。Tracking number 就是追踪订单的这个编号。嗯哼。那有了这个 tracking number， 它就可以帮你去查一下。OK， 帮我们查了。对。The status of the order. 简单了哈，所以客服就要问说 ，Do you have the tracking number? Do you have the tracking number? 或者是呢 ，Could you please tell me your tracking number? Could you please tell me your tracking number? 哎，太好，等一下，等一下，我要先找出我的 tracking number， 然后打给那个 customer service。我跟你讲，你先别吵我，你自己结束 ending， 因为我现在很忙哈，不好意思，我这样真的很忙哈。如果呢已经出货了，他会说 It's been shipped， 已经出单出货了啊，那。大家除了说 it's been shipped 之外，你也可以说 your order has been shipped。你的货呢已经出出去了 ，OK？ 所以很快就会收到啦。You can expect to receive it soon. You can expect to receive it soon. 好孤单哦。那我们来看一下。啊、我好了好了，我们来看 live action。Hello. Oh, hello. I uh, I haven't received my order. When will I receive the order? Hold on a second. Let me check the status of your order. Okay.、Uh, do you have the tracking number? Uh, yes. It's three one a a two five two six. Oh, great! Oh, your order has been shipped. You should receive it soon. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Explanation two. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Joyce and Benny have been shopping for a friend's gift, and they think they have finally found the perfect thing to buy—a fine handkerchief. It's a good choice for a businessman who likes to dress well. It's probably made of colorful silk, and men can put them in the front pocket of a suit jacket for some added color. And Joyce seems to really like the one that caught her eye because she says, "Then I'll take this one." And by using the verb "take" in this way, Joyce is saying she will buy this handkerchief. That's right. And the next thing we read in the dialogue is, Joyce brings the handkerchief to the counter, and this would be the counter in the store where people pay for the things they want. And of course, there is clerk from the store. Working there, and the clerk says, "That will be fifty dollars." We can probably safely assume that this is fifty U.S. dollars and not fifty NT dollars. Right. If it's made of fine silk, it will cost much more than fifty NT dollars. So Joyce says, "Okay, here's my credit card." And then we read, Joyce pays for the handkerchief. All simple enough, but then she says something a little unusual. She says to Benny, "Wait here, Benny. I want to do something at the customer service desk. I wonder what she could be going off to do." Yeah, and why can't Benny go with her? Very strange. Well, as we continue, it says she leaves and comes back with a wrapped <gasps> present. And this must be where Benny figures it all out because, with great excitement, Joy says, "Happy birthday!" And we can imagine her handing the wrapped present over to Benny.、Mm, and for Benny and for me, everything <laughs> makes sense now. He says, "Did I pick out my own birthday present? You sure did, Benny, and you had no idea you were doing it at the time." He finishes off the dialogue and our unit for this month by saying, "Joyce, you're so sweet. She sure is. What a great way to buy the perfect gift for your friend." Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed our dialogue, and we'll see you all back here very, very soon. Bye bye. bye. Benny and Joyce are in an area that sells purses and other luxury goods. Should we go to the sporting goods next? I don't know much about sports. Then let's keep looking here. These handkerchiefs look marvelous. Yes, I love fine handkerchiefs like these. Then I'll take this one. That will be fifty dollars. Okay. Here's my credit card. Wait here, Benny. I want to do something at the customer service desk. 
Happy birthday! Did I pick out my own birthday present? Joyce, you're so sweet! That will be fifty dollars. 第二则表示付钱买的动词片语 pay for something. 第三则是表达挑选的动词片语 pick out. 让我们从表达报价的表达法开始吧 That will be fifty dollars. 意思是总共是五十元，用于店员向顾客报价的时候。代名词 that 代指购物总金额。Will be 是 be 动词的未来式。由于报价的时候顾客还没有付钱，因此用未来式表示金额 will be 将会是多少。例如 ，You have a membership card, so that will be ninety nine dollars. 你有会员卡。所以总共是九十九元。接着来看下一则文法 ，pay for something 意思是付钱买某事物。pay 在这里是不及物动词，付款的意思。这句词 for 则是为了，合在一起。pay for something 字面意思就是为了某物付款，换句话说就是付钱买某事物。例如 ，the employer pays for the flight tickets。And the employees pay for the rooms. 老板出机票钱，员工出住宿费。此外 ，pay 也可以当及物动词支付，后方接金钱当受词。句型为 pay money for something。例如 ，Victor paid ninety nine dollars for the shirt. 维克多花了九十九元买衬衫。接着来看下一则文法。Pick out 一指挑选、拣选。Pick 在这里是及物动词，挑选的意思。Out 是副词，出来的意思。合在一起 ，pick out 字面意思就是挑选出来。例如 ，From all the kitties, Alice picked out the smallest one to take home. 爱丽丝从所有小猫中挑了最小的一只带回家。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民说英语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hi everyone, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Karen. 那这个月呢，要就是教大家，就是要去看医生的时候，我们会用到的一些英文。今天呢，要讲的句子呢，就是有时候也许天气转变啦，就比较容易感冒或生病，然后就觉得啊，一大堆的症状，又流鼻涕，又发高烧，就说哎哎，我可能得到流感了，我可能得到流感了。这句英文应该要怎么说呢？你可以说 ，I think I'm coming down with the flu. I think I'm coming down with the flu. 我可能得到流感了。Sometimes maybe the weather is changing, and then、uh, other people around you are sick, so you're experiencing different symptoms. Maybe <laughs> runny nose, <laughs> sneezing, and you have fever and different kind of symptom. It makes you think that maybe you are getting the flu. Then you can say, "I think I'm coming down with the flu." You can tell your doctor that, and. He can give you the right medication for your symptoms. Okay, so the sentence for today is, "I think I'm coming down with the flu." I think I'm coming down with the flu. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 Monthly Focus 学到了四个单词，现在用一分钟的时间帮大家复习一下。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟继续开始。好，第一单词它指钱包，包包通常都是指女用包，叫做 purse。Purse. She always carries a tube of lipstick in her purse. 她的包包总是会带一支口红，是她的包包里面总是会放一支口红，不是包包自己会带东西。好，再看第二单词是手帕。手帕怎么说？叫做 handkerchief. 
handkerchief. 也有人说 hanky. He wiped his face with a handkerchief. 他用手帕擦脸。再看第三个单词比较长，它叫做令人赞叹的。怎么说？叫做 marvelous. Marvelous 这个字很好记哦。漫威的电影那个漫威是 Marvel， 再加 O U S 变形容词，很惊奇、令人赞叹的 Marvelous。What a marvelous idea！ 这个点子真是太棒了。第四个单词它可以用来形容好的，也可以形容精致的、优质的。怎么说？叫做 fine。Fine, 它是形容词 He's been collecting. He's been collecting fine wines for ten years. 他一直都在收集上等葡萄酒，已经收集十年了。好，太好了，我们又在一分钟之内完成任务，顺利复习完四个单词。同学们表现很棒哦。那么今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。